Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Humbo. And Humbo is a pump and dump. Actually, in general, most stocks are pump and dumps. Most stock will rally in the short term and then they will get dumped because people run and take their profit. So, you know, but from, from, uh, from my perspective, I think uh, Humbo will dump because... Uh, you know, I think it found its top, and uh, investors or retail investors are not pushing it higher. So, the big money that pumped it at the bottom is starting to sell and take profits. And uh, I think that's why I think uh, Humble will be long, uh, short term uh, within this year. If Humble can co come out and prove to investors that their business strategy and their thing is working out because they're growing in revenue by a significant amount and all the work they put in for their software is work is uh is working then at that point I could say I could consider humble more of a long-term investment but for now I still feel like humble is a pump and dump but hey, this is my opinion. It's not like, like for for example, I can see Voyager. Like I can, listening to the CEO of Voyager, looking at the earnings report, I can see Voyager is a growth beast. Voyager has so much potential. Uh, yesterday there was an interview, uh, and uh, according to the CEO of Voyager, he says that they are ready to launch in Europe, but they're taking their time scaling up the system so when they do launch in Europe they don't have to pull back because they don't want to expand too fast because they want to make sure that the custom the new customer they take in uh, when they expand to Europe they can handle it so they are scaling the system they are you they're doing R&D to you know make sure they can onboard a massive amount of customers once they launch in Europe because but they are already approved in Europe and Canada Canada is a small population 36 million people and uh, there's probably not very many crypto investors in Canada so I mean Canada is not really a big deal I mean f p just for me personally I would love for them to be in Canada but you know it's just me so I mean I guess they are like maybe a good 10 to 100,000 investors that want to use the Voyager app in Canada, but that's not very many people. Uh, so, you know, uh, and on top of that, it's like the regulators, so, you know, they have to approve Voyager to go into Canada before they can go into Canada, so as long as uh, uh, regulators don't approve Voyager, they're gonna have to, you know, they, they may never go to Canada, and that is just the reality of it. It sucks, but, you know, like, why can't Robinhood go into Canada? Maybe because the regulators don't approve Robinhood in Canada, and that's the biggest problem. So, but Voyager wants to be global. They want to go into Canada, and they are working to get into Canada. It's just, maybe the regulators don't want them in Canada, and that's the biggest problem sucks but it is what it is uh so but you know humble they haven't proven to me anything yet i haven't seen their finance i i haven't seen the earnings where they're showing oh look we're making tens of millions or hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue with some profit like if they could show me that then i would be extremely bullish on this company but they haven't they you know they, they barely make any money they have zero money on their balance sheet uh, so, oh, I mean, it's a waiting game, and a short term, it's going to be a pump and dump. That's just my opinion. And then on top of that, you know, with all the speculation stocks selling off, like AMC, Wendy's, GameStop, Wendy's definitely a pump and dump. You know, GameStop, all these stocks that are getting uh, that had been pumped recently is getting dumped right now, and I think that's going to affect. Humble negatively, and I think Humble is going back down. Just my opinion, not financial advice. It's going back down to seventy six cents. I definitely, uh, the you know, I if it goes down here again, 
I definitely say, you know, buy it as a speculation stock for another pump. Just my opinion, not financial advice. So we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, GameStop, uh, GameStop is down, you know, today was down 27.16%. Funny, I made a video saying that GameStop will crash after earnings. And it did crash after earnings, so I was right. Will it continue the crash, or will the uh, Wall Street bet pump it back to three hundred dollars? I mean, I, I don't know, but I think uh, it started a downtrend, and I think that we're gonna see this thing go all the way down to, I don't know, maybe a hundred and sixty, hundred and eighty dollars. At that point, I would be bullish on on GameStop uh, for another pump. In the future, you know, not financial advice, just my opinion. But uh, yeah, GameStop is not trading on fundamentals at all right now. Workhorse, uh, Workhorse is down 10.89%. Uh, Lordstown was down 5.61%. Neo was trading sideways today. Tesla is also trading sideways today. Coindesk is under some pressure. Uh, Funware is uh, down 60 cents. Tattoo Chef is down 50 cents. Arkimoto is in the green. And QU Media has been trading sideways today. Anyways, uh, that is it for my video. I got, what, uh, another minute to go. Funware is also taking a big hit today. Funware is taking a big hit today, down 4%. Uh, AMC is, oh sorry, uh, Sundials also took a big hit today, uh, down 9.65%. I think that Sundial, not not financial advice, just my opinion, I think Sundial is probably going to go back down to like 72 cents. At that point, maybe a buying opportunity for another pump. Just, you know, not financial advice, just my opinion. Uh... ACB, ACB is uh, down today 3.32%, CGC also down today, not as bad though, huh. Cron is down 3% today, Toray down 6.44%, down to 21 cents after hours. Anyways, uh, that is it for my video. Wow, almost an eight minute video. That's uh, very awesome. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.